What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV, and today we're coming to you from the Cayman Islands, showing you the best things to do. Let's do it. That's right, Island Hoppers. We're just south of Cuba in the southern part of the Caribbean. We got 24 things to show you. Let's go. First up is Stingray City. This is actually where you go on a tour boat out to swim with wild stingrays. It's $65 for adults, $55 for kids. Next up is the most famous beach in the Cayman Islands. This here is Seven Mile Beach. Originally called Seven Mile Beach because it was seven miles of pristine white sand, but erosion has been eating away at it. It's no longer seven miles, although you still get beautiful, brilliant blue water. So it's a perfect place to swim. Some of the Grand Cayman's best resorts are gonna be right along Seven Mile Beach here. Now, while on the beach, you can do plenty of different water sports. They have jet skis. You can also get pulled by a jet ski on one of these rubber tubes. That's a fun activity for the kids. Then they have Red Sail Sports, which is a catamaran that'll take you out for sunset cruises. You also have sailboats. Now here we are at the Dolphin Center where you can swim with dolphins. This is a super popular activity here on the island. People who come in on cruise ships, this is one of their favorites. You do, you do need to book about four days in advance, so keep that in mind. Ticket prices start at $129 and then go all the way up to $150 or even more if you decide to do the Royal Swim. But yeah, everyone I saw in the water hanging out with these dolphins, they were just loving it. And so were the dolphins. The dolphins seemed super happy to be there. Now, if you do choose to get pictures taken, it can get a bit expensive. So try to get the bundle package, whether you're coming in on a cruise or from one of the tour operators. Now here we are at the Turtle Center where you can swim with turtles. Yeah, so right across the street from the Dolphin Discovery is going to be the Turtle Sanctuary. These turtles are absolutely massive. They also have baby turtles and they have adolescent turtles. Going around here, you'll see tons of green sea turtles. So if you're a turtle lover, go here. They also have a hatchery. Then you can go snorkel in the lagoon there with the actual turtles. That's pretty cool. If you just wanted to walk around the turtle sanctuary without swimming, it's about $40. But if you wanted to swim in the lagoon, it's $55 per adult, $45 per child. As you can see, they also have a swimming pool with a slide. Now, he and here's a look at some of those adolescent turtles after they've already kind of grown up a bit. So this is cool to walk around because people can touch the turtles right here. Now these particular green sea turtles can live up to 70 years or even more. In order to reach full maturity, it's typically around 25 to 35 years old. There's a look at the hatchery. Now one important thing is do not try to actually carry or hold the turtle. So this here rock formation is a geological site known as Hell here on the Cayman Islands. Now aside from having quite the sinister name, it does look like a heck of a place to walk around if you know what I'm saying. Now as far as how it got that name, people have some stories, you can look those up when you get there. The good news is it is free to visit. Typically it's part of one of the cruise package tours. You can easily do the dolphin, the turtle, and this particular geological site all in the same day because they're in the same area of the west end of the island. Now from this site, just about four or five minutes down the road, you're gonna to come to one of my favorite restaurants on the island. This here is Tucka Restaurant. And of course, I drank the Island Hopper IPA, really good. They have several other local beers on tap. There are two Tuca restaurants on the island. I'm at this restaurant called Tuca, and I got a seafood with grilled lobster, calamari, ceviche line lion fish yeah now while on the island if you're looking to do some high-end shopping you may come over to Kamana Bay it's a nice place to walk around go for a leisurely stroll they also have local uh, booths set up kind of like a market alongside the interior of the courtyard so really a cool place to walk around get some food looks like it comes to life at night as well this is gonna be for the people who are planning to stay on Cayman Islands for longer than three to five days. I'm not gonna say if you're coming from a cruise ship that you're gonna to wanna to come here. This is for people who are gonna be hanging out on the island looking for a variety. Now here we are at the National Gallery of the Cayman Islands. Let's go inside. So as you can see, they've got lots of local art going on here. It's a bit smaller than you may expect. It's the Cayman Islands, not a very big country, but they are making an effort to grow this place and it's free. So that makes it worth stopping by and it's nearby Kamana Bay. So you can easily do two for one. Now here we are in Georgetown. Now Georgetown is the main area of the island. This is the main commercial hub. 
and you'll see they've got the cruise port right here many different restaurants and lots of jewelry shops i don't know what the deal is with lots of jewelry here but it seemed like they had one every two or three shops so jewelry seems to be pretty popular with cruise ship tourists apparently but they also have some really good restaurants i mean if you're looking for some variety you're gonna find that down here in the port of georgetown the one restaurant that kept getting recommended was the bread for life which is the fish patties they sell there it's right next to the cruise port so. and right behind me here in downtown you have the national museum again the national museum is quite small but you can get a good history there while i was walking around georgetown i decided to get a haircut and it was a really outstanding haircut thank you to this man right here now let's talk about food now, while I was here on the islands, I definitely got lots of fish, fish fritters, spicy beef. I had those pork ribs, jerk chicken was very popular, coconut rice. Now here we are at Pedro St. James Castle, also known as Pedro Castle. Now while here, I do recommend doing the guided tour because you're gonna get lots of history. This is the oldest stone structure on the island. It burned down a couple times. They tell some really incredible historical information here great views and it's part of a historical society the tour does cost around eighteen dollars and seventy five cents per person they also have a restaurant here so if you get a chance and you're doing the tour also consider just having lunch or dinner here and as we continue to show you around the island i want to let you guys know that we're doing more tours coming up around the caribbean so if you want to visit the caribbean and you're looking for information subscribe to the channel and thank you to all of our channel members and everyone who likes these videos. Here we are now at the Queen Elizabeth Botanic Gardens. Now this is going to be more towards the east end of the island. Ticket prices here are around 20 to $25 for adults. If you do come out here, I would expect to stay around two hours, maybe a little less if you are heat sensitive because it does get hot in the Caribbean. So make sure you bring plenty of water. Thankfully, they have some ice cream and refreshments in a very nice air conditioned environment at the actual uh, entrance. I did notice that walking through some of these garden pathways, it can be like nature's air conditioner. So that was quite nice. They have the orchid boardwalk, the heritage garden. But as you're walking around, you'll see these blue iguanas. Now bear in mind that the blue iguana is actually indigenous to the islands. Something interesting to know about the name so it was originally called Iguana Island. And when people first arrived here, they did see these large reptiles. They were called caimans, right? That here we are now at the blowholes over here on the east end. So the blowholes are gonna be an area you can stop while driving out to the east end. It is probably worth a stop because especially when the waves are really pumping, you'll see how the water just flushes right through there and shoots up into the sky like a fountain. But a lot of it's gonna depend on how strong the swells are. Now just to finish the story about the name, there are no more Cayman crocodiles on the island. Most tourists who visit Cayman Islands only go to the West End, but don't forget about the East End. It's beautiful in its own unique way. It is about a 30 minute drive from Georgetown. Well, here we are at a place called Pirate's Cove. Now that Pirate's Cove bar really caught my attention because it seemed like a local crowd was in there. So if you wanted to mingle with some locals, this seems like the place to be. Now just down the way is going to be the wreck of the 10 sails. People go out here because it's a viewpoint out towards the reef where you can actually see the wreck of the 10 sails. And the reason it's called the 10 sails is because in February 8, 1794, 10 British military ships were sailing to the United States from Jamaica when they actually wrecked and hit the reef. Now here we are at the Parrot Sanctuary. So all of the parrots you'll see here are indigenous parrots to the island that were injured or had some sort of issue and they ended up here. So there's the Grand Cayman Amazon parrot and then there's the Cayman Brock Amazon parrot. They do have a few more different types of animals here and birds. The ticket price is $16 per person. The good news is when you do visit here, you're helping support the sanctuary, which is taking care of these parrots, giving these birds a second lease on life. Really cool, right? And I wanna let you know that if you actually wanted to eat lunch while out here, you can eat at Tuca, show them your ticket from the parrot sanctuary, and you'll save about 10 to 15% on your meal and you get to eat at Tuca again, this time at the East End with great views and good food. 
And when you come to the island, you can also do the crystal caves right here. They actually have to shuttle you into the area where the caves are. And the tour is about an hour and a half. This is one of the most popular activities on the island. Now here we are at Over the Edge Cafe on the north end of the island. If you do decide to stay out at the east end or maybe even the north end, coming here for breakfast, lunch, or dinner is an option. I would say breakfast or dinner would be probably the prime time because in the afternoon it does get quite hot here. Now for those of you looking to do some hiking, you may consider checking out the Mastic Trail. Let's go take a look. Now there's two different trailheads. There's the north end or the south end of the trailhead. It would take at least an hour because you're going from the north side of the island to the south side of the island. And now here we are at Rum Point. I guess we've saved the best for last. I really enjoyed Rum Point. This is a super cool place to be if you're looking for a relaxing, chill atmosphere at nice hotels with good food. This is where you want to be. Uh, they've also got some other stuff going on out here, but really flat water. It's on the north side of the island. When I walked out onto the pier, we saw a barracuda and a very aggressive grouper that was hunting. So add snorkeling to the list of things to do. Seems like it's popular to do that all across the islands, but really out here at Rum Point, a really cool place to do that. Or even over here at Starfish Point. Now, why do you think they call it Starfish Point? Because, yep, you guessed it, you will see starfish in the water. Please, it is not recommended to touch them. Some people just can't resist themselves and they need to touch them, but do not ever lift a starfish out of the water because it really does hurt the starfish. And so that's going to be our episode of Island Hopper TV from the Cayman Islands. If you enjoyed this one, please watch more of our tours from across the Caribbean, like the U.S. Virgin Islands and Aruba.